uh, this country creator says this is the reason why your wife wants a divorce. Mm. I don't know how he known that because <laughs> women are so finicky. And so he better men. have been married. People yeah. are finicky. Period. Women are so finicky. Oh, God. <laughs> Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay. Podcast. Y'all know I'm always going to switch it up. Let's go. Here's the secret that your wife is not telling you. If you were a guy who was providing, protecting, and you wasn't abusing her mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and all of those things, and your wife has been convinced by her friends by social media or another man that's in her ear that got her thinking that she can do better than you yeah, a lot of you guys ain't up dudes a lot of you guys is actually good husbands a lot of you guys make the mistake of putting your woman first because you've been conditioned to be that way but the shit still don't work out in your favor so you in a position to where you don't cut off all your friends you sad as you only be there for the kids. All you got is your kids. All you got is your fucking wife. Well, all you had was your wife, and she want to get the fuck up out of there. You simply in a position to where you fucked up, and that's because you didn't prioritize yourself. And it's not your fault that you didn't necessarily prioritize yourself, because you've been conditioned to think that you come second. Fuck no. You do not come second to no fucking body. In order for you to be a good husband, you got to be a good man first. In order for you to be a good father, you have to be a good man first. So a lot of you dudes are sacrificing sacrificing your life, your mental health, your physical health, and all of these things because you've been providing for this ungrateful fucking woman and because of a few arguments or because of social media or because of somebody else in her ear, she leaving you sad, distraught, fucked up, and not knowing what to do. And some of you guys are considering offing yourself. Do not fucking do no shit like that, fellas. If you work on your fitness, your fashion, your finances, your mindset, and your appearance, once you realize that the value is never within the woman it's always within you you will never ever be in a position to where you scared to love you scared to get with a woman and you scared to give your all because in a split second if the bitch cross your boundaries if the woman cross your boundaries you can get up and you can walk the fuck away and that's what i want you guys to understand start valuing yourself start loving yourself and walk the fuck away fuck her it's gonna be plenty of women out there that would love to be with a man like you yeah this is right, i mean listen he's talking he talk about first himself thing, first thing i'm gonna um who shit in your oatmeal right. that morning who right. hit you god, <laughs> god right. damn right. <laughs> somebody done pissed him off but you know what let me let me just say this right quick I have said this multiple times. People get married for the wrong reason. Wrong reason yep. It has nothing to do with your value. If you were with that person and you got married to her, obviously the 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 vibe wasn't the same between the two of y'all. Because if, if you know anything about a woman, if you doing what you got to do and you satisfying mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, there is no other man that can even get close to her. Not true. Come on. You know this that happens. Uh, again, I'm going to just play devil's advocate. There's a lot of women. Not a lot of women. There are some women who are never satisfied. You could do the most. But and that's it's what like, I'm saying. It's like you got to be careful who you marry. Like, why sometimes you, you don't know. Sometimes, again, we've seen situations where a woman was a girlfriend. She was cool. And as soon as she got the wife title, she lost her damn mind. Oh, now you this. Whatever, you supposed Lose. to do this. You whoa, gotta do this. Whatever, I gotta Lose. do that. And you like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait Let a me. minute. Like, <sighs> we just got married three weeks ago. You wasn't like this. Now all of a sudden you wife, and now you don't count. <laughs> and now you you're just count. this different person. So, and, and again, I'm not saying that this doesn't happen for men, but we just talk about this video. There are women who do that. Now I'm wife. Now I feel like I have a bigger say so. You have to do more. You have to please me more. You have to provide more. And it's like, whoa, whoa, calm down. Yeah, he sounded like he was speaking from experience. He got hurt. Yeah, oh, somebody he was hurt. hurt him. He was yeah. hurt. He was hurt. But I mean, let me tell you something. I mean, look, man, man, the woman that I was messing with for 14 years. As I married that heifer, she changed on me. Yeah. I seen that first hand. Yeah. It was already there. I seen you that first hand. I, I, I ain't been, well, Not I for mean, 14 years. I mean, I couldn't because I was I was messing around with another girl, so. And that's your problem, <laughs> see? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> the plot tickets. Yeah, why, she that's, was terrible, that's boy. That's why she did yeah. what she did. I had Jaleesa on the side, so. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I married the wrong one. Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah. You but. Did. You know, at that particular time, 
It ain't about getting married to that, that person at that particular. No, if that's not the person that's for you, don't force it. But he, how would he know? Like if, if, if she was, if she was showing all the good signs yep. up until that point. I don't know that she's going to change and be a different wife. Exactly. She, she was a great girlfriend. Ain't no way in hell after 14 years she just up and just changed. Like, yeah, she did. Listen, like, yeah, she did. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Women change all the time. That's the thing that a lot of women don't understand. And as men will try and to explain. And men change too. We're we not talking about that. Stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, we'll, be, we'll, we'll even try to say like, yo, it'll be like, yo, you ain't. I never seen you drink before. Now all of a sudden you drink a Hennessy. Well, things change, and you know, you like, well, I know when you were in the Hennessy, you turn into DMX, and you, <laughs> and you didn't hit me in the uh -huh. back. You didn't hit me in the back with a broom four times. So I don't think Hennessy. Don't tell me what to do. And you like, well, wait a minute. This is not the woman that I met six like, years ago wait, who didn't drink Smirnoff minute. Ice. Now she down in forties, like she. <laughs> A crack dealer? Like, what is going on? So sometimes, sometimes y'all be changing, and y'all don't see it. And yeah. it's like we be trying to like be be kind of sugarcoated. Maybe it's y'all guys that's making us. Oh, change. it's always us. <laughs> oh, Where's the accountability? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Where is it? So let's go to the first comment. So the first comment is from Beachmaster. Beachmaster says, "Bro, effing Facebook had a huge impact on my marriage. Twenty three years down the drain." Like, yeah, social media has an impact on on relationships in general now because there's just so that's much. That's because some people let social media have an impact on their on their marriage or relationship. You know what I think it is? I think that fa uh, social media is the only place where people can go, and this is people as a whole, to find other people who think exactly like them. And it could be a very small portion, but if if I yeah. think that um, deer meat is good for my kids. I'm pretty sure I can go in, on social media and find a small group of people who think the same thing and say, and see, find, and find I told you I was right. Eat deer meat. I told you I was right. Deer meat is good for the kids. And now I got it. I, I got people who are like me and now I can go on with my rhetoric and my thinking, even if it don't make sense. And that's what be, it's like kind of like a cult. Yeah. That's basically what it is. I can find a cult of people who feel like I feel. And now what I feel is correct. And you can't tell me it's wrong. Exactly. And that's what happens. Tell you, stop feeding them kids dare me. Um, second. What kids? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Did she what just give up her kids? kids? Uh, she give up her kids. Okay. Uh, can we go God to the next? Uh, yeah, yeah right. I don't know what that was about. Yeah. So, second comment. Second comment is from uh, Sorry, YouTube. Tang Fang 316. That's the beauty of trust fund. Since everything I own is in that trust fund and make zero money on paper, she will be paying me alimony during that divorce. Wow. Wow. That's that is, smart, man. That is it. diabolical. That's that's smart. That. Put it in your mama name. <laughs> you hear that, T? I hear it. Stop putting want... everything in your mama name. I, I hear it. I don't want You can want to put it in my name? I don't want nothing from no man. I'll protect you from them goddamn white men. Oh my gosh. <laughs> put in my name. <laughs> No. Oh, like, my daughter get it? nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> nothing. Y'all hear me trying to steal all my assets. <laughs> Better than that white man trying to steal your ass. <laughs> oh, whoa. I seen the setup coming. I, just didn't know. I didn't know which way it was going. <laughs> you see it coming down? I saw it coming. Oh, God. I said, oh, I don't know how this is going to end. <laughs> I swear, I just can't say nothing. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, last comment is from um, Wilhelm Geraldo. Social media and all her divorce friends in their are 20 year relationship. 16 years of marriage with two kids. Damn. Again, she found she found a group of people that helped her yep. believe that the yep. nonsense that was going on in her head was real. And since she found that small group of people, she said, oh, I have believers that believe the same thing. Which so is crazy. it has to be true. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. what happens. What do you say? It's just crazy. It's just it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's not much more. I can really I'm not a big social media person. So, I mean, I don't get on social media. But and, and for that reason, I just don't like there's a whole lot of things about social media. I don't like, yeah. Cause so. Social media is a goddamn devil. It is. It's goddamn devil. Yeah, I mean, 
this your podcast, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. And subscribe. That's what I'm talking about, man. And join our membership. Yes, sir. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Join Jaleel. Yeah. So when you make those comments, you got that little star next to your name. Hey. Yeah, be like El Boogie. Exactly. So, 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 listen, we got a bonus show for y'all tonight. We doing two hours, man. We doing two. Set it up. Let me, let me, let me get the second show shut up. So, second show. Um. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>